since I'm using cloud and I've set up GitHub Actions here already, I can just tell it cloud, please jump on this one. This is stuff that I usually do also with cloud code on my computer. So I have many agents there that I already use and a lot of slash commands for this type of work. But sometimes I'm on the road and it really helps to be able to just go into my GitHub repositories from my mobile phone and just ask it things like this that maybe some random idea came to mind. And I would just prompt it like this and then tell Cloud, please jump on this one. Hey, well, so I've been running a fun experiment to use Cloud Code to do a lot more than just coding. Besides coding and implementations, I'm usually doing a lot of research, reading papers and so forth. I do a lot of note taking as well. So one thing that I've been exploring is this cloud code GitHub Actions. The way that looks is I have this research notes repository here and I open an issue so I could tell it latest research on GPT-5 capabilities and I can open as many issues as I want. And then basically I give it some details about what this research involves and what I'm expecting it to produce. So I tell it, can you gather a collection of the latest research papers that apply GPT-5, report their main findings, results, and insights. So I'm interested in all the research papers that are using GPT-5. I want to understand how this model compares with the other reasoning models like Gemini and so on. And usually I would go and read papers and discover papers to figure some of that out. So how does GPT-5 compare to other models? So focus on technical details. Please make sure to provide a citation to the paper and publication date. So citations are really important as well. Then create a detailed, useful report to help our AI dev team. So I wanted to generate the report as well. And finally, I wanted to create some tables and images, if it can, where possible to illustrate the findings. And then I tell it, open a PR and save the report under a reports folder inside of the main repository here. Since I'm using cloud and I've set up GitHub Actions here already, I can just tell it, cloud, please jump on this one. This is stuff that I usually do also with cloud code on my computer. So I have many agents there that I already use and a lot of slash commands for this type of work. But sometimes I'm on the road and it really helps to be able to just go into my GitHub repositories from my mobile phone and just ask it things like this that maybe some random idea came to mind. And I would just prompt it like this and then tell Cloud, please jump on this one. I see Cloud acknowledges this with a little emoji there. And then the Cloud bot starts to work. Right, so it says it finished the task. Right, you can see the job there if you want more details about what happened behind the scenes. And then Cloud decided to open up a PR because I asked it to open a PR under the reports folder. And then it has a little summary as well of what it did. Right, so Cloud Code tends to like create this little uh, to do items here. Right, it searched for GPT for research papers and information and so forth. Right, and then has a summary of this here at the bottom. But this is just a summary, high level summary. So I could read this and this will be useful. And it referenced a few papers. But let's look at the PR here. Let's look at what Cloud did. So this is a PR. If I approve this, it's going to be written into my research notes folder. Right, this is something that's private here, not available publicly. And I can also view the report that it created, right? So it created this little report here. So it can write to my repository. And I'm just going to click this one because this is a better preview. So GPT-5 research report. So think of it like deep research, but something that's already inside your research notes. So it's closer to the stuff that I use every day. It's a repository. I will pull the changes to my repository if I approve this PR. And so it has a little summary of that. Then it has some little metrics that's really nice. And then it has a bunch of information, right? It has something about the pricing, right? The reasoning levels. Okay, that is important for my team, I think, to enable them. And then this one is more about the papers it found. So this paper, I read this paper. In fact, I featured this paper on my Twitter. And then the key findings were improved reasoning scores by plus 21, 0.26, and so on. So it has processed those papers and just summarized the findings here. And then these are just the benchmark stuff that it pulled out. So you can see GPT-5 clearly here outperforming some of the other models right, on the different benchmarks. So that's more the general benchmarks here. And then it says key technical advantages. And it talks about hallucination reduction, which is a strength of GPT-5, right? Significant improvements in factual accuracy, then efficiency improvements as well. Then it has this little table as well with the context window comparison with the other models. So that's great for devs, right? That context where GPT-5 excels. So these are the strengths mathematical reasoning, right? Code generation, multi-model understanding, and so on. Technical advantages, right? It has the dynamic model routing, uh, reduced hallucination rates, extended reasoning capabilities, efficient token usage, errors for improvement, context window, much smaller than GPD 2.5 Pro. This is why sometimes I would use this model for other things like agents. Edge cases can still contain subtle reasoning errors in complex edge cases, real-time data, and so on. But here is a comparative analysis. So it's really detailed, right? This is 
extensive, and I think this could be extremely useful for my team if they have no clue about GPT-5. It will help my team a lot, right? And they can always go and hunt for more information. So at a high level, this would be really great. Okay, so medical applications, software engineering, right? So code review, 88% accuracy on either polyglot for code editing and so on. So this is extremely useful and you can take actions on this report just on the findings already. And then some recommendations here. And then I really like this table here. It says model selection guide because I mean, developers think about this all the time, which model to use. So for mathematical reasoning, the recommendation here is GPT-5. I think that recommendation is accurate. It's a really good model for that. Long document analysis. I use Gemini 2.5 Pro a lot. So this aligns really well. And the rationale is great, right? So it's a 1 million token context window. I use that for agents as well a lot. Code generation, you can see the suggestions. Obviously, cloud models will always be there for code generation, but GPT-5 is also a great model for that. And then you have all the references down here if you want to do further reading and so on. So this is just the appendix, more appendix here. And I think this is a great report. It can definitely be improved and I can probably give cloud more context on the format and structure and to add more things to it, but very extensive result. And I think this is the sort of thing that we should all be exploring. Uh, and I love GitHub Actions because I can generate reports here while I'm on the road. And I like that idea. If you're interested in this, I'll be doing an extensive workshop on how I use cloud code, GitHub Actions for maintaining my notes, some of the ideas I'm exploring with agents to create notes, discover information, do summarizations like this, generate deep research reports, and the list goes on and on. So I'll be doing a workshop on that uh, for my academy subs. You'll find more information below this video. I'll see you all in the next one.